Hi library families, it's Miss Sarah from the Innisfil IT Lab and Library. Thank you for joining me for another STEAM video. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, and let's get started on today's experiment. So for today's experiment, you're going to need a few things. You're gonna need three pieces of paper. This is just regular printer paper. I just picked some fun colors today. You will need some tape, and you will need a stack of books. Today we're going to experiment how strong different shapes are. So we need to make three shapes to start today. The first shape is going to be a triangle. So if you put three folds in your paper, one a little bit smaller, you can create a triangle with a little bit of an overlap. So you can tape that down. So I'm going to put some tape just to hold it together. All right, so there is my triangle or prism. And now we're going to make a square shape. So you'll need four folds for this one. Again, if that overlaps so that you can tape it together. Like that. And then the last shape, of course, is a circle. So for this one, if you just fold it around and then you tape up the side. All right, there's my circle. So now we need to test how strong they are. So the way that we're going to do that is we're gonna stack the books one by one on each shape and see how many books each one can hold. So we will start with our circle shape and let's see what it can hold. So the circle held, we have one, two, three, four, five books. That's pretty good. So the circle is at five. And next we will try our square. Cool. <laughs> so the square only lasted three books. So, so far the circle is winning at five. Now we're gonna experiment and see what happens with a triangle shape. <laughs> the triangle only I got four books. So it looks like the circle was actually the strongest. The rest of my paper got a little bit crumpled up. So experiment with this at home. See if you can get more books than I did and let me know how it goes. We'll see you next time.